10 seconds into this video. And, hey, Dad, don't hit the door. <laughs> Had to scare him a little bit. Man, he is already sending it with the combine. Beep, 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 beep. So today we're back over in the Million Dollar Bin site. We're gonna be working on the dryer shack this weekend. So we need to be getting all of our wooden stuff out there. That way, well, that way we have our construction materials. It's like art class all over again. And when you're younger, you're always wound up to get doing this stuff. We're just gonna work at a steady, easy pace, get things done. You think you do a pull-up, Dad? Is that a pull-up bar? Yeah. <laughs> right now. Get your feet off the ground. Well, Dad, since it's not harvest season and we're just grain farmers, I got my 30 minutes in for the day. I'm gonna think That's, I'm gonna call it. Okay, I'm gonna peek at that quick and then I might jump in that little mini hole quick and play for a little bit. You know how to run that? No, not yet, but I am going to learn here in just a little bit. How to open door, push button. Shit had you started a while ago, so air conditioning be cold. Okay, so your key's right there, but you need to turn it forward for a second like you're warming up glow plugs and then wait for the music to stop playing. No! Okay, now you can turn your key on. This window, if you want to, you can press these and it does flip above your head. Okay. If you ever need that open, but... I'd only do it if I think something's gonna break it. Yeah. But other than that, just, I guess don't break anything. Okay. Well, okay. just playing with that. Next week, we got the bin guys coming, well, I guess in two days. And right now, it's a little bit of a mess around here. And we have a bunch of dirt trenches and stuff dug out. So Sable and I are gonna pick up this trash and we're gonna get the skid loaders out. We're gonna fill in some of these areas, make it a little bit easier for those guys to work. Oh, what kind of person throws trash down here? Sable does. Sable. Sable. I'm just kind of playing around in here in the excavator. You know, it's so much different than the backhoe when you're used to running the backhoe. This just seems totally different, but I do like the cab. Very, very good visibility. Yeehaw! <music> playing with the hoe on different angles and stuff. So far, I like it. I'm not quite adapted to the levers yet, but it won't take long to catch on to them. And it doesn't have any power. There is absolutely no power. There's no sideway push power. <sighs> when I make a pile of dirt and I need to swing to push the dirt in the bucket, there is basically absolutely no pushing power sideways. So that's a real big negative. <gasps> but I like the machine otherwise. My philosophy is a clean work site is one that stays clean. So if we get everything picked up here when the bank crew comes out, it's gonna be a lot easier to keep it clean. And also this pad here is gonna be a hopper bottom bend pad. And they're gonna build the pad, not the pad, the bend for our overhead right here first. And then I take it when they come out with the crane to lift that back up, they'll also pick up this 5,000 bushel bend. And then they'll set it on top of those white things. At least that's what I think, but I'm not really sure. But now I'm gonna start breaking off these metal tabs that are sticking out of the concrete, cause this is gonna be exposed and I don't really wanna look at these. And I'm also gonna get some dirt in and fill these trenches. We're gonna be walking across here a lot tomorrow when we're building this building. Hi, Copper. Hey, buddy. Hey. Let me start calling you iron. Iron or lead, lead. Yeah, let's we'll call you lead, cause you're stubborn. Well, there we have it ladies and gentlemen we are ready to start building we'll see you in the morning we're gonna get this done today justin yeah i i, I, I feel the confidence <laughs> yep. now it's been 10 years 10 years justin since we built a building together 10 years well the big shop yeah that was 2011. Yep. so i maybe have forgotten a thing or two about a thing or two about how to build these things but first things first we need to be getting a plate down out here so we already got this chalk lined out so we're gonna have a two by six laying on here we're gonna lay it down and we'll smack the top of it with a hammer so that way we can mark where all these bolt holes are gonna go through oh we're not doing that no. what are we doing we're gonna measure 
thought you said Justin was gonna be good today, Dad. <laughs> okay, I guess we're not smacking him with a hammer, but anyway, then we'll be drilling a hole through the two by six, and then we got a piece of foam that'll lay underneath the two by six. We'll sandwich it down here. That'll keep moisture and everything else from coming through here. And we'll build the building on top of that. Does that sound about right? Yeah, that sounds about right. See, I know what I'm doing. Every time we start a new project, the first three hours of the day or so is dedicated to just getting all the tools together because everything gets spread out. And if you guys didn't know, so we have two farms. We have the main farm here and then the main heated shop, which is where dad lives. And so we buy one set of tools for each farm and stuff for some reason tends to migrate to one place or the other. So in the case of drill bits, everything ended up down at the main heated shop. Do do do. Oh, hi, Willow. Hi. <laughs> Pull that way. Perfect. Perfect. She fits. Justin's got all the sill plates measured out and he's got a wall built over here, but we just all of a sudden realized we don't have the sill seal that goes underneath here. So we sent Sable off into town. She's going to get that. It looks like Grandma Judy showed up and oh. hey, what are you what are you wearing? It was just like Christmas this morning. I'm not kidding with this game. Grandpa John has his. Nice sunglasses, by the way. <laughs> I got did I, I told you about my headaches, didn't I? No, what about your headaches? Oh, something with my eyes so I have to wear my prescription sunglasses mm -hmm. they're not dark enough so the things you get from the doctor I put in there 15 minutes it's gone these I don't need to do that it clears the headache in 15 minutes without that. those look a lot cooler too don't yeah. they <laughs> now I'm a constar go go goonie groupie, groupie. groupie. <laughs> I'm a constar groupie <laughs> people that don't like these glasses are gonna think well you look goony anyway I always thought you look kind of weird but yeah, I am kind of. Are you going to come drive the green cart again this fall? Oh, I thought I'd drive a semi this time. Okay. That doesn't have auto steer, though. Is that uh, okay? Oh, I can. You mean I shift? Yeah. Yeah, it's one. Two, I don't know. Three is up here somewhere, <laughs> and down here is four. I, I can shift a car. Just grind them until you find them. I've had a few drinks, and I was able to shift. <laughs> Grandma, you're not supposed to drink and drive. Well, after you have the first drink, you forget that you can't drive. <laughs> Grandma, you're being a bad influence. Yeah, we got kids watching this. Yeah. <laughs> my kids. Oh, my kids. What do you think of all this stuff, Grandpa? Oh, I'm glad I don't have to figure out where it all goes. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, Sable finally arrived. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And waiting. Somebody else can go to Menara. Throat punch. Oh, Every single person. Well, <laughs> now we have one more problem. These washers are too big to fit in our little recessed holes. No problem, though. So we ended up being about 20 boards short, so Nib and I are gonna run to Menards, go get some stuff. Hopefully, we have a fun experience. But I guess on the way there, we got some cheeseburger sunflower seeds. I don't know, I think these are gonna taste like pickle, but I've been wrong before. Actually, no, I have it. Tastes like a burger with ketchup. Actually, it really does. <coughs> yeah, sawdust on the wrong pipe. It really does! That's so weird. How do they do that? Oh, okay. Let's see if we can find all the ones they don't use to make boats out of. All right, Neva, look at this. So we found 20 boards that we're gonna be using for the dryer shack, but I had to move all of these in order to find them. And I still wasn't satisfied with two. So if you guys have never been wood chopping before, you wanna take a look down the sides to make sure that they're straight because some of them have a big arch to them. Other ones have split ends and sometimes they split way down. And then some of them, let's see if I can find an example here. Ah, here's a good example. Watch this, this board right here, it's twisted. If I push here, the other end comes up. Huh, look at that, Neva. 
We didn't lose anything. That's because I was with you. And we found some tacos. Burritos and tacos. We didn't quite get as much done today as we planned on having to wait for that weather seal stuff underneath that sill board. It definitely took longer than we thought, but we have all the boards here ready now and what I have on the trailer to build these last two walls. Then we just gotta get the rafter set up here. We'll be able to get all of our sheeting and stuff in here because we're planning on the middle of this next week to get this spray foam insulated. Because talking to the spray foam guy, if we don't get it done by the middle of this week, we get put on like a three week waiting list. So it would be kind of nice to get this done. Ooh, that concrete is warm. Yesterday when the concrete guys poured this, they put down this white stuff. I believe it's called an emulsifier and it basically acts like a little enamel on top so that way it doesn't let moisture out so this doesn't dry as quickly. Because if this dried too fast, it could spider crack on top. And while we are going to be epoxying this floor, I'd still rather have it not crack. But overall, I gotta say, I am really impressed with the job they did on this. So now that we kind of got some walls up, I'll give you a little bit better run through. So this is gonna be our walk-in door. So you'll pull the semi right off the pit. Basically the semi will stop like right here and you'll be able to just get out and you'll be able to come in. This is gonna be the little mud room right here. This pipe is actually gonna be hidden right inside the wall. So it's gonna go all the way over to where those boards are. So we'll have a nice little area here. You'll be able to stomp your boots off and stuff. Got to drain in the floor. Then there will be a door right here. So we'll be able to get into this entire part of this. This will be the, the man cave part of it, as dad likes to say, or basically an area that's going to be the kitchen. You'll be able to sit in there, that kind of thing. And then this wall that I was talking about, there'll be a door right here. And in this corner will be the bathroom. And it's kind of funny when you think of a house, you think of this really strong thing that it's just indestructible. But when you actually build one, I mean, this is essentially a tiny house that we're building right now. All it is is a, b a board bolted to the concrete here. And then we got another one on top of it and it's just screwed at every stud into it. And then you just set a rafter across the top of it and you connect it to that and it's like the only thing that holds it together. Yes, we will have sheeting on the back side of this, so we'll have like half inch plywood going across here. So that will add some structural integrity. And then we'll also have it tinned and stuff on the outside too. So all of those things factor into the strength of it. But when you're putting this all together, it just doesn't seem like there's a whole lot there. What if I told you guys we were putting in an overhead door right here? That'd be kind of funny. Actually, it wouldn't be a half bad idea. But this is actually where our window is going to be. And then center of this, straight across, we are also going to have another window right here. And there's also going to be a window in the center of this wall. So like I said, I kind of hoped we would have got more of this done today. But sometimes that's how it goes. Justin's going to be back out at 8 o'clock in the morning. We want to get this thing wrapped up. And hopefully we get it done tomorrow because I don't want to be put on a three week waiting list, but we'll see you guys in the morning. What is this? I was sleeping. You decided to build another wall? Yep. Got Casey Kasem on this morning. What year? I don't know. I haven't heard yet. Are we going to get her done today? Yeah, we are. Got a door. <clears throat> Got a door. Mm, actually, could we put a window here instead? So the dynamic we got going on here, Justin's inside, he gives us measurements and he puts everything into place. And then I'm just over here, I just measure stuff and I cut it and I hand it to him. So he gave me a list of stuff right here, so I need Three 38 inch pieces and four 25 inch pieces. This is our notebook paper, by the way. So the way the building's kind of designed here, so since we're gonna be spray foaming this building here, on the corners, there's a little slot on this side where we'll be able to get the spray foam in there. But on the back corners here, you can't get in there. And once the sheeting's on the outside of this, we're not gonna be able to get into this cavity. But before we get this sheeted here, we got some old R19 Justin's gonna slap in there. You're gonna be itchy for weeks. A little bit ago, I thought I was a really bright one. Put in plywood around this, I would be in the shade. Oh, real smart. 
but now it cut all the air down and it's getting hot and stuffy in here. Well, Justin just left a little bit ago, so we're gonna wrap it up for the night. But as you can see, we got the main structure of the building up. And I tell you what, we could not do it without Justin's help. He is, well in our book, he's, well, he's our best friend. He's a great guy to work with and we're learning so much from him, but he is the master carpenter here. He keeps everything straight boom 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 and then he sets things up so like now tomorrow when we come back to work he's got his main job so me and cole will be working here we'll be getting things but he'll just make sure we stay on track from this point on but doesn't it look nice so far it's gonna be so nice when i can come in here during the busy time come in here we'll have heat in here air conditioning i'm gonna have a recliner i hope yeah, I'm gonna have a recliner. I have the right. Still looking around at this building. It's just, I'm impressed, I'm impressed. Well, it's time to call it quits, guys. Day's over. <laughs>